got the bike back. Now, just need some customization. Just got back from my friend Erin's house and she cut all these cool decals for my new Domani SLR. It's quite an assortment here and uh, looking forward to getting to work on it. What I'm doing here is cutting a backer for the purple vinyl Trek logo. It's just a black satin vinyl and you pretty much need to do this because it seems that every bike seems to be a little bit different in the factory when I think it's applied by hand and there's curvature so it's really hard to get the exact size so I found this to be a good workaround. Here's a couple of the decals that I'm going to put on. Because the paint's so loud I'm going to keep it pretty subtle um, as you can see with the flash on in this clip. Um, that's the 76. That's the year I was born, and then Spartacus, which I love, and uh, the year of track as well. And you can see it matches the bars and the saddle, and then I've got these ones for the wheels as well. That turned out to be a pretty decent match, I'd say. This one here is my personal favorite, the Kingslayer. Bar. Here you'll see it's a nice little subtle effect. Here's the purple iridescent logo. It's a bit nerve-wracking to put this thing on. Um, put it on wet and um, you'll kind of hope for the best. It's uh, pretty much perfect. There's one little teeny dust speck here but I'm sure I'll be forgetting about it soon enough. So the main thing is, if you're going to do this, is to make sure that your um, points are overlapping the stock ones because this logo is actually a little bit bigger and it's really, really hard to get it to line up. So you just kind of put it on wet and wet with a little bit of soapy water and just work the, work the water out and then slowly heat it up with the hairdryer and it uh, works out really good. I'm not 100% in love with it, but it's definitely stealth. And the good thing about vinyl is you can just peel it off if you don't like it. Like Gannicus, but Danicus. All the girls love Gannicus. Here's something I came up with for the top tube. It's unusual that they chose a gloss black because it's really susceptible to scratches. So I uh, have this matte black. My friend cut this. And then I uh, freehand cut it to look like a worn and torn pirate flag. These are the Silka Titanium Cages in Rainbow. I uh, picked them up online and they're quite beautiful. Originally they were for my other Domani and I think that they look pretty good on this one although maybe the Royal Purple would have been better but it's what I have so and they're very expensive so we'll use them. I had a few friends balk at this and they really liked them until they heard the price but man these things are handmade artisan. Let's see how they fit the Different bottles, shall we? It's very nice. Close up of the straws. Um, I'm not really a huge straw guy, but it's kind of cool. A very nice detail. And then there's also the curved one. I'm sure someone in your family would enjoy it. Fine details. I kept these bolts from the ultralight supercast cages, and they should complement nicely. I do think they will be susceptible to scratches from gravel and stuff and if you're riding in the wet so that's something to keep in mind. Um, but let's see, they look pretty dope. You can see it's a very soft powdery look. It's quite nice. For tires I've decided to go back to the 32 mil WTB. These are the Expanse uh, with the stand sealant and mostly just because I have it because I do miss the simplicity of just and quickness of just changing a tube. It's so fast and clean. Sunshine 11 speed cassette um, 11 to 36. Not bad. It's 
So this is the Favero single-sided power meter pedal. I picked them up at uh, Veloholics, a local shop. Um, they look pretty good. I'll let you know how they uh, work out. I was on Chain Reaction. I saw this limited edition KMC Neo Chrome chain. It comes in this uh, jewelry grade box. I couldn't resist. It's the missing link for the bike, so um, that's really going to make the uh, you know icing on the top of the cake. So I'll put that on and I'll show you how it looks. But yeah, it's a bit expensive and excessive, but geez, that looks nice. It's a beautiful day on the river. Here's the bike so far. I just wanted to take a moment and show you what this KMC 11TT uh, looks like. Here you can see a close-up of it. And uh, it's definitely a more dollars and cents kind of thing. But uh, I can definitely feel, feel it when I'm riding and uh, it does feel very fast. I'm sure once it breaks in with this beautiful sunshine cassette, uh, it's all gonna mesh really, really well and be uh, a very efficient, uh, smooth and stylish feel and look.